This is Paula Cass back with another episode of Step Into My Parlor and a little showcase for some of the things that we have on offer. Uh, the first picture you'll notice is uh, Oro sorting through some football cards that we found in a storage unit and they were very well uh, stored and kept. Obviously somebody that appreciated what they had uh, not as uh, something to be treated as a piece of cardboard. The next thing we have is from Brenton Company and it's a Bone China open salt basket with a gold uh, handle and it's called the courting couple and that comes from our personal collection. The next piece is uh, interesting to me. Uh, it's uh, made by William Rogers Silver Company. It's an appetizer tray with a uh, cup to put your dipping sauce in. Next up is uh, hand-painted Japanese geisha girl teacups and saucers circa World War II. One of the units uh, that we had purchased, the gentleman had served in Japan in World War II and brought many items back with him from his service. Next up you see some Norcrest Company Fine China Violets Cup and Saucer Limited Edition 215 out of 331. The next thing we have here is a 11 by 9 painting by Mary Jane Dawson of Aldi, Virginia. That's just one of two paintings we have by this artist. For all you vintage audio files, we have this fantastic Grundig Majestic SO290 US. It's AM FM shortwave. It has a turntable, has reel to reel, and comes with two tower speakers. Then we have some Waterford Irish Crystal in the Atlanta Cross Cut Pattern Champagne Glasses. We also have red wine or what, what is it? Claret glasses and water glasses. We have quite the selection of the Waterford Irish Crystal. The next thing is uh, there's a really cool story behind it. It's a book written by John Mitchum called Them Henri Mitchum Boys. And it's autographed by John Mitchum who uh, worked in the movies with his brother, Robert. Uh, we worked with a gentleman in uh, Texas by the name of Lee Harmon. Lee happened to be a member of uh, what we now call the posse for, with the Mitchum boys. Probably if you looked in some of Robert Mitchum's old movies, you might even find him in the background as, a, as an extra. But Lee was good enough to get us an autographed copy of this book. And it's a really cool read. They were really quite a bunch of uh, mischief makers in their day. Another really cool thing here is from the Monroe Salt Works, uh, luncheon plates and coffee mugs in uh, with a trout and iris. There's a vintage Gorham and Newport silver plate hinged lid ice bucket with milk glass lining. One of my favorites is a Polish mass face cloth doll from the early 30s and 40s. Uh, she's dressed in traditional Polish outfit with a hand painted face. She's in excellent condition. Uh, her mohair hair is still intact with her uh, felt vest and original bows and shoes. And she's marked Poland on the back. We have a Fenton green glass we have a Fenton green glass 1996 limited edition 696 out of 1500 hand painted and signed by the artist partridge in a pear tree dinner bell nice addition to any collection of Fenton glass to go along with uh, the international deep silver flatware we had in our last video, we have uh, from international deep silver, the New Orleans pattern, the serving pieces that go along with uh, the flatware. So you know, all your silverware matches and your serving bowls and your meat platters and cake servers. <laughs> Another one of my favorite that uh, we found in a storage unit that I didn't even know existed is from M.A. Hadley Pottery Company. And this is uh, stoneware in uh, different um, genres, you would say. They have sailing and country life and animals and all kinds of different really cool patterns. And they are still in business today. But we have uh, several pieces of it. And one of them is a life round platter and a house pattern pitcher and these were all made from clay deposits near Louisville Kentucky and uh, Mary Alice Hadley started making these dishes in 1939 on her houseboat on the Ohio River. Also in today's video we're offering Royal Albert Chantilly Platinum Bone China 
in a Montrose design and we'll sell the whole set or we'll sell by the piece. And this is a really beautiful piece here. It's a soup terrine with a ladle and an underplate that's all made from the same material, which is a verbenum stone and was made in Laverno, Italy. And this piece we've actually gotten some use out of. It's great for looking at the full moon. It's a floor standing Harbor Master brass telescope. If you're interested in any of these pieces, you can contact us through our Facebook page at uh, facebook.com forward slash O&P's Finders Keepers or contact OroCass or myself, Paula Cass, also on Facebook. More later.